Brothers, for those of you who are watching these Sowing the Faith videos, if you want to be notified every time I post something new, you can subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give a thumbs up and like the video, because you certainly will be greatly blessed. May the Lord God bless you. Folks, the political power fascinates. The political power makes people of God abandon the ship and turn their back, not wanting to follow Jesus anymore. When Jesus resurrected Lazarus, people came to the religious leaders to tell them what had happened. Whoa, wow, this is not a joke after four days. Is the man feeling good? Yes, he is. Then let's go there now and let us bow down before the Savior. What did they say? It is found in John chapter 1147. Actually, it's verse 48. If we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him and the Romans will come and take away both our place and nation. They were interested in worldly things. They weren't God's servants. They were servants of themselves. They were even satisfied with the Romans usurping the power. My brethren, there are people satisfied with what the devil is doing. No, let us preach the truth and bring the people to deliverance. Take a look at this testimony and I will come back to pray with you shortly. I am feeling very good because 22 years ago, I suffered an accident and both of my legs were broken. 22 years? Yes, both of my legs were broken. And five years ago, I underwent a treatment for arthritis in my ankle. It was one of the first ones here in South Africa, but it failed so I couldn't put my feet on the ground and I would walk like this, look. Walk normally now, sister. 22 years ago, hallelujah! Let us pray now, dear God. What should matter to us is not the worldly power, but the eternal power. And there are so many people fooling themselves completely, believing in the devil's lies. But we come before you now to receive the victory. And God, I will use your power to bless these lives. I know that your hand is touching them now from the top of their heads, where that wound lies, that cancer, O oh God, touch now and heal. O oh God, in their pancreas, touch now and heal. In their legs, O oh God, in any part of their body, I demand all evil to go out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.